good morning to one and all today we are going to explain our uh, next experiment here is open circuit characteristics of a dc shunt generator this one is a circuit diagram here initially while coming to the machine slab we have to note down the nameplate details first then we have to connect our uh, circuit diagram there in this particular circuit diagram we clearly observe that what are the different components we come across here as this one is a motor and uh, followed by this one is a generator the input for the motor here is we can uh, give it some electrical energy it converts the things to mechanical energy that mechanical energy is coupled to generator then we can expect some electrical power output there yeah for that i would like to explain each and every component right now the first one 18 ohms rio start 360 ohms rio start and we are having some three point starter line armature field we clearly visualize those parts in the machine seat itself observe those things there this one is uh, we can clearly observe this one is about dc shunt generator side in this we are having some line armature field in this uh, we are having some uh, whether it's a uh, generator or motor we are having some mainly two parts here one thing is nothing but armature and the one is field this one is nothing but a a point is called as armature and this z and z z may be called it as field and uh, this one is a uh, fuse wires here these are the polarities here for dc supply positive negative and uh, this one is a three point starter in order to start our uh, machine i may use this uh, three point starter here this one is a rio start observe how much uh, rio start it is 18 ohms rio start and this one is uh, another rio start here 18 ohms rio start and this one is 360 ohms rio start i may use these two rio starts via motor side in order to measure our speed i can use this one is a tachometer here we can measure it it's a digital tachometer we can measure speed here and to the part of generator side we are having uh, these are the components here just observe these are the different components we have to come across across generator side now ammeter another one voltmeter and we come across some uh, rio start here this rio start value here is towards generator side 360 ohms rio start followed by one of the meters here is voltmeter another one here is ammeter to the generator side also we are having some uh, two windings here now one thing is uh, armature another one is field and uh, all these things here is we can come across this uh, motor generator set this motor this the center part may be call it as motor this one is motor and uh, this one is coupled to the part of in between these things we are having some coupling that it is connected to generator set that one is a generator set there these are the different components we come across till now yeah coming to the part of connections towards the motor side i'd like to explain each and every step here just observe those things in this one we observe clearly this 18 ohms which is connected to armature is connected in maximum position whereas uh, this field side i just want to connect this one is in minimum position observe that one there i'd like to explain the connections wise right now yeah this one is line is connected to positive terminal and uh, armature is connected to one end of the part of rio start here 36 uh, 18 ohms rio start another wire is armature is also connected to other end of this rio start 18 ohms rio start i just connected one of the wire is armature to one end another a part is connected to this corner there and all this one is in the maximum position now. the current enters towards the part of this side enter everything is connected like this this one is the total resistance total 18 ohms i connected here this position may be called as maximum position this one is entering here and leaves here that's why this connection may be called as rio start is in maximum position whereas coming to the part of field side rio start observe this one f is connected to one end of the fixed end here this lower end may be called as fixed end and uh, another field winding is connected to variable part and can you observe this one is connected towards part of this one and it can leaves like this this one and we can clearly observe that this position may be called it as minimum position this field rio start is in minimum position whereas this armature rio start is in maximum position and this uh, both the ends zz and a is connected to the part of negative polarity there motor side these are the different connections we connected across motor side connection that to dc shunt motor 
yeah coming to the part of generator connections here we are having some rheostat 360 ohms which is connected in maximum position it is connected to ammeter and uh, this ammeter other end is connected to armature this uh, armature other end aa and this zz field winding both the things will come across the things of voltmeter negative this voltmeter positive is connected to this common point these are the connections we can easily observe with the help of this uh, circuit here just observe these connections wise this field winding zz rheostat fixed and one end zz and both the things will leads towards the part of voltmeter one of the end voltmeter this uh, voltmeter one end is connected to a these two voltmeter is connected across one of the point is a another point here is zz and aa common is connected to other end of this one 300 volts and coming to the part of ammeter one of the end is connected to variable knob here and uh, this common point is connected to armature both the points armature uh, that it is ammeter one end and the voltmeter both ends are connected towards the part of armature a these two meters in order to observe the characteristics of a dc shunt generator we can come across these two meters one of the thing here is ammeter another one is voltmeter by changing this uh, rheostat we can observe the tabular column for these two values there then uh, you can uh, clearly observe that this rheostat is in maximum position by varying this rheostat values we can easily increase this uh, current values why you can keep this uh, rheostat in maximum position here is initially we can have some uh, low amounts of currents there when i can increase this uh, rear starts we can easily observe there is some increase in the part of current values yeah we start our experiment with the help of uh, by supplying they have given some supply here then with the help of three point starter we can initially start our motor there yeah we can clearly observe that the motor is running with the help of three point starter we start our motor there then we can observe that uh, speed of our motor with the help of uh, tachometer there regulated power supply this one is a digital uh, tachometer we can easily observe the value here is we have to keep that uh, value there is rated speed 1500 rpm by varying this uh, rio start there we can observe this rio start it is increasing the speed there how much speed we have to kept here is rated speed 1500 rpm by varying this uh, rio start one But you have to keep uh, rated uh, speed now. Rated speed RPM here is 1500 RPM. By changing this uh, field rear start also, we can uh, keep that one to the rated speed. Observe, it's approximately. Yeah. Then we can observe. We keep that entire things 1500 RPM. by slowly adjusting these two rear starts armature and field i kept that uh, motor rear start motor side uh, speed there is 1500 rpm that it is coupled to the part of generator right now we can easily observe we have to note down the readings here by slowly varying the things of field rear starts here towards the generator set in order to go for the part of shunt generator characteristics we can observe here voltmeter reading initially we can't give any residual magnetism is there that's why you can observe some voltage here it's approximately some 30 volts is there this one may be called as residual voltage or residual magnetism there by changing that uh, rear start values by changing those rear starts field rear start we can observe there is some increase in the part of current values and this voltage there is some increase in the voltage this voltage may be called as a generated emf 
observe, we can change that rheo starts, then we can clearly note down the values of generated EMF and this uh, field current. Both the values you have to note down there. Yeah. This one is the generated EMF and this one is the field current. We can easily plot that one, one graph there in between these two things. Yeah, this one is the field current. It's approximately, we can connect it to the part of one now. It's a point eight. Field current is point eight, and we can come across, it's 110 into two. It's a multiplying factor two there. Why means I have connected, this one is 300, but the scale they have given here is 150. It's approximately 110 into two, 220 volts. This one is the saturation point here. We can easily observe field current and this uh, voltmeter readings, we can note it out. This one may be called it as generated EMF. We have to plot the graph in between these two things. And uh, actually this one is a lab purpose now. We just want to use this DC motor. Whereas in industries, we, they can use some turbines. For the lab, we can't afford that uh, turbines now. That's why I can use some DC motor here. These are the readings you have to note down. Then uh, in a similar manner, we can bring all those real starts to the initial positions. Yeah, slowly it is uh, going back, this uh, voltmeter. Then we can uh, bring this uh, field view start also, motor side. We can easily observe that uh, there is some drop in the speed. Armature view start also there. Yeah, once it's magnetized 3.0, no need to touch this one. Directly we can uh, switch off this supply. Automatically, the three points sort of will move back. Yeah. Thank you.